Welcome back my adventure fans to New Beginnings. This is the start of a new adventure in 2022. We start off by giving the boat a good freshen up underneath, give the bottom a damn good scrub, ready for the trip later on in the year. Enjoy guys. Why hello there guys and dolls, <laughs> we're back, back again, she's just about to come out of the water, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you before, not now, because now is after before, so what you're going to see is it's five days, five days of hard graft. Uh, what I've found is, because of two years of neglect and the only time I could get her back out of the water after lockdowns have happened and things like that she's had to go back to square one so i've had to scratch back to the gel coat again and re reapply the primer and then the antifold but what a difference it makes the antifold before she was like a brick in the water but now you'll see in a bit there you go guys catch you in a bit work this is. I feel like I've gone back to the beginning where I first bought the boat. I've had to sand right the way back to the gel coat again. The antifoul were just peeling, like, um, yeah, just flaking off here and there, but you couldn't just scrape it. You've had to really dig in and sand it right back to get a smooth finish again. So fortunately for me, it took me two days just to get this far. Uh, the plan is now finish scratching back as best I can, get some primer back on it and re anti foul the hull again. And then fingers crossed in the next two to three days she'll be back in the water then and uh, ready to be prepped for the trip in August. So we've got a trip coming up in August now so wish me luck guys because I'm absolutely shattered. It's, uh, it's painful, it really is painful. Back, better get back to it. there's one thing you can't beat and that is a bit of pressure boat's due to go back in the water tomorrow morning 9am it's now 2.30pm and I had the bright idea to check my anode before it goes back in the water just in case there's any water leaks and I had to cut the bolt off because it's been on there a while that's the bolt there's no issues there as you can see 
I need a replacement bolt. What I haven't accounted for is it's Tuesday and the marine chandler's is shut. So now I've got to go in search of a steel bolt from somewhere, hopefully a DIY store's got one. Very unlikely, but I'll just have to make do whatever I can get hold of and then replace it next time it comes out of the water. So I'll see what we can do now, see if I can get a bolt that's that big. <laughs> Gutted. Wish me luck. I've got to say, it's not the bolts I was looking for, but they'll do for now. We can change them out next time we bring her out the water. But main thing is, we've got some bolts to get this cruddy old thing back on there. So, here goes. Now to try and put them on the inside. Come with me. So what you got is rubber washer, metal washer, nut, seek flex. The reason I've done the double nut on the outside, the double nut on the outside is because it spins otherwise because I'm on my own. So I've done the double nut and it does stand off rather than sit flush to the boat, but who cares? It still it'll still get us through the water. So I'm just tightening them all up now and the seeker flex should just seal any any gaps that we've got. So by morning that fingers crossed should dry by morning then we'll drop her in the water. These are two the only two holes that we've got really in here. It's just these so fingers crossed shouldn't be too bad. So what I need to try and do now is it's not the best but that's my negative at the minute so Try and get my negative back on there. So there'll be a lot of people correcting me. Shouldn't do that. It'll do the job for now. I don't know if you've actually seen any of that fully because I've not checked the camera. Um, but what's happened is I've put another rubber washer, seeker flex, and a nut on the inside. The reason I've done the double nuts on the outside is because I'm on my own and if I try and tighten it up I've got no chance the nuts will just spin. So it does stand off uh, a lot further off the boat than it should do the anode, normally quite flush up to the boat itself. But it should still do the same job. Um, and then I've just used um, it's an old copper wire as a bit of a, a negative to it. But some say it shouldn't, some say they should. I say I should because that's all I've got for now so that's the reason behind I've got a copper wire attached to it but hey ho needs must what we've got what we've got to hand what we've got to hand in it so right now to tidy up put my things back and try and um, finish off my little bit on the rudder then just uh, see if I can just finish my anti foul and then that's it then Quick tidy up and off on then, ready for tomorrow. 9 a.m. The pressure's off, he says. <laughs> Catch you in the morning. Well guys, it's Wednesday morning, 9am, the guy's just loading the boat onto the straps now and she'll soon be over there. But before she goes back in, I've just got to touch up a few little bits on her before she drops in the water. Got to say, absolute gorgeous day. Could be in Spain over here at the minute. Picked a really good week to do the boat. Just waiting for the driver now just to drop his tractor back off and bring her down to the slip here. So we call sailing on land. Oh, 
Well, I've got to say, this is the first time I've actually managed to be here and do underneath the keel. Not looking too bad. How nice is this? Could be anywhere in the world today. Anywhere in the world. Sun shining and happy days. She's back in, back in the water. Chuffed to bits. What hard work that were. Really hard work. Shattered now. But I'm glad it's done. She's back in and just gonna try and chill out a bit now for five minutes and then I'm gonna have a go at doing my Plastimo water tank which I bought the other day so I've got to try and get all that plumbed in and also I've got a manual uh, tap as well it's like a plunger that rather than uh, electric so I'm trying to reduce electric consumption um, so yeah that's my plan this afternoon but for now just enjoy catch you in a bit cheers Thank you for watching, we'll catch you next time on Mad Cat Sailing. Don't forget, like, subscribe and share with your mates.